Imagine waking up to find a woolly mammoth grazing beside your car, or spotting a Tasmanian tiger prowling your backyard. Science fiction? Think again. Breakthrough genetic technologies might soon bring back these extraordinary extinct animals to life. Welcome to the incredible world of de-extinction, where humanity meets its past face to face. Could scientists really resurrect animals lost for centuries? Today, you'll explore five astonishing creatures on the verge of revival. Prepare yourself for a thrilling journey into nature's wildest dreams made possible. Picture this. The ice-covered landscape of ancient Siberia shakes under massive footsteps. Emerging through the mist, a woolly mammoth, long extinct but now brought back to life, strides majestically. Towering above three meters, its iconic curved tusks glisten in the frosty air, dense fur protecting it from harsh Arctic winds. Scientists today are on the brink of transforming this scene from imagination into reality, driven by groundbreaking advances in genetic science. In frozen Siberian permafrost, incredibly preserved mammoth remains provide viable DNA. Using revolutionary CRISPR gene editing techniques, researchers are now blending mammoth genes into the Asian elephant, their closest living relative. This daring genetic cocktail could recreate critical mammoth traits, thick insulating fur, cold resistant blood, and even mammoth-like tusks. The aim, a modern mammophant, a creature designed to survive Siberia's brutal winters, potentially revitalizing the ecosystem. But the mission isn't without controversy. Scientists face daunting questions. Could such a mammoth-elephant hybrid truly survive today's drastically changed habitats? Would introducing these giants back into nature restore balance or cause unforeseen ecological chaos? Ethical debates rage on, weighing humanity's desire for discovery against nature's delicate balance. Yet, the idea remains irresistible. Witnessing a living mammoth, once a ruler of Ice Age landscapes, could profoundly reconnect humanity with its distant past. The Mammoth Revival Project embodies our boldest dreams of scientific possibility and environmental redemption. It challenges our understanding of extinction, responsibility, and the true power of genetic science. As we stand on this thrilling edge of possibility, one can't help but wonder, will the mammoth's mighty footsteps once again echo across Earth's icy realms? Imagine silently exploring dense forests of Tasmania, when suddenly a sleek, striped predator emerges from the shadows. The Tasmanian tiger, officially extinct since 1936, could soon return, courtesy of modern genetic miracles. Known scientifically as the thylacine, this unique marsupial predator resembled a wolf but carried its young in a pouch, blending mammalian and marsupial traits. Today, scientists eagerly push forward with plans to revive the thylacine. DNA recovered from museum specimens remarkably holds the key to this revival. Employing advanced cloning and genome editing technologies, researchers plan to implant modified embryos into surrogate marsupials, potentially reintroducing these iconic predators into their original habitats. Yet excitement meets apprehension. The thylacine vanished primarily due to relentless hunting and habitat destruction by humans. Now, returning it could symbolically heal past ecological wounds. But could these revived predators adapt to drastically awed modern environments? Would their reintroduction disrupt current ecosystems or restore natural balance? These critical debates persist, but one thing is clear. The vision of a revived Tasmanian tiger evokes powerful emotions. Seeing this enigmatic creature stride once again would symbolize humanity's capacity for redemption, challenging our responsibility toward nature and wildlife conservation. Could the chilling howls of the thylacine soon echo once more through Tasmania's forests, signaling an astonishing triumph of science and conservation? 
Step onto the shores of Mauritius in the early 17th century, where curious flightless birds known as dodos once roamed freely, fearless of humans. Within mere decades of human contact, the dodo vanished completely. Now, centuries later, the iconic bird, known for its clumsy gait and striking appearance, stands on the brink of revival. Scientists have meticulously analyzed DNA fragments preserved in dodo remains stored in museums worldwide. By combining these genetic blueprints with modern genome editing techniques, researchers aim to resurrect the dodo. Their ambitious goal is to splice critical dodo genes into the genomes of closely related pigeon species, recreating a living, breathing version of this legendary bird. But why resurrect the dodo? More than just curiosity drives scientists. It symbolizes human responsibility and ecological restoration. The dodo's extinction dramatically impacted Mauritius's ecosystem, and its revival could help restore ecological balance, reminding humanity of the consequences of unchecked interference with nature. However, this pioneering effort sparks profound ethical debates. Could the dodo adapt to today's drastically altered ecosystem, or would we doom it to suffer another extinction? Does the potential ecological benefit outweigh the risk of unintended consequences? Despite uncertainties, envisioning the return of this famously extinct creature evokes fascination and wonder. Seeing the dodo walk once more would not only heal a symbolic ecological wound, but also stand as a testament to human ingenuity and redemption. Will the quirky and endearing dodo soon reclaim its lost island paradise, marking a stunning comeback orchestrated by science and hope? In the bitter cold of the ancient Eurasian steppe, a massive creature trudged across the snow-covered plains, the woolly rhinoceros. With its thick, woolly coat and enormous horns, this mighty beast was built to withstand icy climates thousands of years ago. Once roaming vast territories from Britain to Siberia, the woolly rhinoceros vanished around 10,000 years ago, leaving behind only bones and legends. Today, remarkable discoveries of preserved remains offer scientists unprecedented opportunities to revive this giant from extinction. DNA recovered from well-preserved carcasses frozen in Siberian permafrost opens a thrilling pathway for geneticists eager to reconstruct this prehistoric giant. Researchers are exploring techniques similar to those used in mammoth de-extinction. By inserting woolly rhinoceros DNA into the genome of its modern relative, the Sumatran rhinoceros, scientists aim to recreate an animal equipped for harsh frozen habitats. This ambitious effort is not merely about scientific curiosity, it could also contribute to broader conservation goals by introducing a species capable of restoring ancient ecosystems. However, the endeavor faces tough ethical and ecological questions. Could the woolly rhinoceros thrive in today's dramatically altered world? Would its revival lead to ecological stability or unforeseen disruptions? Critics argue about the practicality and morality of resurrecting an animal whose environment has changed drastically since its extinction. Yet the allure of witnessing the woolly rhinoceros roaming the steppe once again is undeniably captivating. It symbolizes not only scientific progress, but humanity's enduring fascination with reversing extinction. The woolly rhinoceros' return would stand as a powerful testament to our commitment to preserving and perhaps even restoring the natural world. Will this majestic prehistoric giant soon reclaim its lost tundra, bringing ancient landscapes back to life? Deep in the lush prehistoric forests of South America, a towering beast moved slowly among the trees, the giant ground sloth. Standing over four meters tall on its hind legs, this enormous creature fed on vegetation, effortlessly pulling branches with its massive claws. Known scientifically as Megatherium, the giant sloth roamed freely until about 11,000 years ago, mysteriously vanishing alongside other megafauna of the Ice Age. 
Today, scientists are captivated by the tantalizing possibility of reviving this majestic creature. Recent fossil discoveries in caves and ancient lake beds have provided exceptionally preserved DNA samples, allowing researchers to piece together a near-complete genetic blueprint. Using groundbreaking genomic editing tools like CRISPR, geneticists are now attempting to integrate giant ground sloth DNA with that of modern relatives like the three-toed sloth. The goal? to recreate an animal adapted to surviving modern ecosystems, potentially revitalizing habitats by reintroducing this keystone species. The idea is thrilling, yet it raises crucial questions. Could these enormous herbivores adapt successfully to a radically transformed environment? Would their return restore ecological balance or disrupt existing ecosystems? Ethical debates rage, highlighting the responsibility humans hold toward manipulating nature and life. Still, the vision of a living giant ground sloth lumbering majestically through restored habitats is irresistible. Reviving such an iconic species symbolizes humanity's extraordinary power to repair ecological damage and reconnect with our planet's incredible past. Imagine witnessing this awe-inspiring giant amble through the forests once more. Could the giant ground sloth soon reclaim its ancient home, demonstrating a remarkable triumph of human science and ecological restoration? But do you think bringing these animals back is ethically right? What are the risks involved in manipulating nature? Could reviving these animals solve ecological problems or create new disasters? Tell me in the comments. If you had the power to bring back one extinct animal, which one would you choose and why? If you want us to continue this series and explore more fascinating extinct animals, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.